Hello. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. <clears throat> ah, Soil Siddiq. So you have got for which branch? You have got call for which branch? I have got call for a control and automation in IIT for MS. IIT Mandi, right? Yes, sir. What is your BTEC background? Sir, I have done electrical engineering in Sri Ramdevaba College of Engineering and Management in electrical engineering department with a CGP mm -hmm. of uh, mm -hmm. uh, 8.03. Okay, so, so let's yes. start with your SNAP for a control system, right? Yes. Okay, tell me what do you understand by basically control system? Sir, control system is a uh, control system has two words. First of all, we derive a mathematical model for any system and we apply control techniques to control that system. Okay, so can you define linear and nonlinear control system? Yes, sir. Uh, linear control systems are the systems where uh, it follows the principle of superposition. Uh, it okay. follows additivity and homogeneity, whereas nonlinear systems uh, do not follow the principle of superposition. Okay, explain what is homogeneity. The homogeneity meaning the output of the control system or the system. Uh, if we multiply by some, if we scale the input by some constant k, then the output also gets scaled by that uh, same constant k for a particular system. Okay, can you differentiate what is the difference between regulating and tracking control system? Regulating and tracking, sir, I don't know about that. Have you heard about tracking control system or have you heard about regulating control system? No, sir. Hmm? No, sir. Okay. So tell me what is difference between time varying control system and time invariant control system? Sir, for a time invariant system, if we delay or advance the input of the, to the system, then the output also uh, is consistent with the input. It has same delay or advance and it is uh, the same output for the corresponding input. For time variant system, the output is not consistent with the input if we delay or advance the input signal. Okay, now suppose you are having a system whose output is y of s is equal to 3 upon s into s minus 2, right? Okay. Can you tell me what will be the final value of this system output? Final output uh, for uh, what type of input, sir? No, no, this is the output of system, right? Achha, what achha. I have mentioned you. Okay. Can you tell me what will be the steady state value or final value of this system output? Yes, sir. Okay, tell me. Sir, it would be minus 1.5. It would be minus 1.5. Okay, yes, now do one thing. Uh, tell me what will be the output in the time domain. This, what I have given, this is in the frequency domain, right? Yes, sir. Tell me what will be output in the time domain now. So, first I take Laplace inverse of this function. Okay, tell me and uh, take and tell me. Final expression. Yes, Sir, just a minute. Just a minute. Yeah, sure. Yes, Soil. How are you doing? Hello, yes, well, am I yes, audible? Sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, tell me. Don't you think it's taking too much time? Hmm? Yes, sir. Just a minute. So the uh, output in time domain it is coming one point minus one point five into u t plus one point five into e k power two t into u t. Now tell me whatever answer you know you told me for steady state value. Do you think that uh, that is satisfying this time expression? 
No, sir. The steady state would go infinite. Then, don't you think that uh, you have applied the final value theorem? Do you think that the final value theorem is applicable for this system? No, I think sir. this is applicable for the system only stable system, right? Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. Okay, can you tell me some of the application of the final value theorem? What are the other application of the final value theorem? Other applications of final value theorem. I don't know, sir, any other application. Okay, define the DC gain of the system. What do you understand by the DC gain of the system? Uh, DC gain of the system is the uh, constant gain or gain uh, when we convert the control, uh, the transfer function into time constant. See, don't define me mathematically, just to give some practical interpretation. That is fine. You have defined me mathematically, right? Yes, sir. But practically, what we can see? Uh, practically, we can say that the amplification uh, to the input signal that a transfer function or a system does, that is the DCK. Repeat it what you told me, please. The, the amplification or the, the amplification to the input signal that a, a transfer function on the system does, that is DC gain. No, then what is AC gain? That is you define the gain only, right? Yes, sir. What is the you know significance of DC in that term? Okay, whatever you told me, that is fine. That is fine okay, with yes. respect to the gain, okay? Yes, sir. At zero frequency, uh, the gain at zero frequency uh, done by the transfer function is this gain. Okay. So don't you think that final value theorem can also be used to calculate the DC gain of the system? Yes, sir. It can be applied for uh, finding DC gain. And see, when you are defining the DC gain, so, so you can't be very mathematical as you were, okay? okay. See, DC gain of the system is the ratio of output of the system to its input after all the transient have decayed. All the transient have decayed means now it is in the steady state. Steady state. So whatever you told me, that is fine for mathematics point of view, right? Yes. But uh, you need to be, you know, a bit uh, aware about what should be the answer if they ask you practically, because you are going as an electrical engineer. So your answer must not be much numerical oriented. Like if they ask transfer functions, it is the ratio of output of one input. So you need to give some practical information, right? Okay. Obviously, why I'm saying this reason being, suppose uh, they ask very basic question, what is the pole of a system? If they will ask this question from 10 students, so obviously yeah. out, uh, uh, nine out of 10 will answer the right. You understand this one, okay? Yes, but someone, someone will say, sir, it is the roots of denominator. Someone will say something, someone will say something. There will be only one and two students who will explain the physical significance that actually they were looking into. That is why when the term they are asking, that is quite simple and easy to you. So don't try to be very mathematical, okay? Okay, if you don't know anything, then it's okay. Then you need to tell whatever you know, right? Okay. 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 Okay, now suppose you are having a first order system. Okay. Okay. Sir. Then if I apply a step input to the first order system, mm. can you tell me what will be the time rate of change of output at zero? Time rate of change of output at t equals to zero. And second, what will be the steady state error? Steady state error. Okay. Okay, sir. Tell me, please. Uh, sir, the dy by dt is zero and steady state error is one. Hello. Yes, sir. The dy okay. by dt is zero and steady state error is one. Steady state error is one. Check again steady state error. Second answer is right, but I don't think steady state error will be one. Sir, uh, should I answer in terms of K, 
KP. How steady state error will be one? Tell me what will be your output? Your output will be for the step input A into, if I take some A step, right? Yes. Either one into E raised to power minus T by capital T, right? Okay. Yes, sir. So if you are going to find the steady state error, then first of all, you need to differentiate, find a difference between the set point, which is your unit step and this yes, output. Sir. The remaining term will be E raised to power minus T upon capital T. And if I'm asking steady state value, don't you think that the graph will be exponentially decaying graph? And as T tends to zero, it will become zero. Sorry, yes, as T tends to infinite, it will become zero. Hmm? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then so the steady state would be zero. Steady state error. So keep in mind these points, please. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, suppose you are having a phase lead lag network. Have you studied about this? Yes, sir. Okay, you are having a phase lead lag network. Okay. Mm. Can you tell me what will be the changes in the phase of the output with respect to input signal? You got my point? Change in output of the uh, phase Suppose signal. Suppose I have a system which is working as a phase lead lag network, okay? Okay. And I am giving some input. Then obviously I will get some corresponding output, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My question is, can you comment on what will be the, you know, change in the phase? in the output signal which we are obtaining after the you know passing through phase lead lag network any comment on this first of all tell me you understand the question or not yes sir uh, sir the So the uh, plot between the phase and frequency of the system would be uh, like band pass system. For a particular, between a particular frequency cut of frequency, the phase will be... No, that is a band pass you can say with reference to amplitude. I'm not asking what will be the effect on amplitude, okay? okay. I'm asking what will be the effect or what will be the changes in the phase of system, which we are getting at the output of the system. Can you tell about that? No, sir. I'm unable to see if you know what is the phase versus frequency plot of lead lag network. For that, first of all, you must be well aware of what is the pole zero diagram. Okay. Yes, sir. And you know, if I'm passing any signal through the phase lead lag network, then there will be lead in the phase at the lower frequency signal and lags in the phase of the higher frequency signal. Isn't it like this? Yes, sir. Because there will not be the entire lag over the entire range of frequency. There will not be the entire lead over the entire range of frequency. That might happen if you are using the lead network or lag network. But here we are having lead lag network. Fine. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Am I audible to you, please? Yes, sir, you're audible. Okay. Now, do you have any idea about, you know, BIBO stability? Sir, what? BIBO stability, BIBO stability. Yes, sir, bounded input, bounded output. Tell me, what does you mean? Sir, BIBO stability means if we give uh, any bounded input and uh, the output remains bounded, then we say that the system is uh, BIBO stable. Then the system is? Stable. Okay. So suppose if you are given with the impulse response of a system, right? Okay. <clears throat> then can you comment what will be the condition for BIBO stability of the system? Any idea? Impulse response. For impulse response. Impulse. No, sir. Uh, 
impulse input signal is not bounded so i think we cannot comment on the stability you cannot comment in term of the stability yes, haven't sir. you studied that for lti system for a system to be bibo stable its impulse response should be absolutely integrable have you studied this term or not no sir hmm no sir see while analyzing the system we can analyze system either in term of the differential equation we can analyze the system either in term of the impulse response we can analyze the system either in term of the transfer function right yes, so most sir. of the time your focus will be on the transfer function but many yes. times you know your analysis is based on the time domain specification so when you are related to the time domain then your focus is on the impulse response okay so if you are saying for bib a stable system then its impulse response should be absolutely integrable right hmm. so these are the basic terms see they will focus more on the like stability they will focus more on the accuracy they will focus more on the order of system and type of system and i told you they will sometime ask you to draw the graph of the output of the first order system versus time and will ask you to draw the graph of error versus time these sort of the question they can ask right so you must be well aware of these things what my point yes. and in some of the point where you were not able to answer those i have mentioned alongside second yes. thing is i ask you one that is a very common question they can ask that is what is the difference between regulating and tracking control system see yes. a regulator control system is a control system whose desired output is constant obviously you can see a basic regulator which we are operating we yes. set point that we want this voltage that is a fixed our desired objective is fixed right yes sir but the desired output in many system is time varying Achha. mostly you know if you are uh, having some object moving with constant velocity moving with acceleration and you want to track that position obviously now what is your desired objective tell me that is the time varying na is yes, it clear sir. it means yes. under such is your reference signal is a time variant okay yes, so under these situation these sort of the system we categorize under the tracking control system so you can give this example which i told you suppose you are having an object which is moving with constant velocity and you are trying to track it you are designing a control system or mechanism to track it so these okay. are the tracking control system right okay and second thing is uh, be very clear about you know some of the basic concept they will not go into much depth what my point okay so like i may i ask you many questions related to final value theorem you did there some silly mistake avoid these things okay first okay, of sir. all listen the question and see it very minutely hey right? okay, don't think don't have that fear in mind that they will ask very big thing they don't ask very big thing honestly trust me just very simple things because see what they believe if the fundamental of the candidates are perfect then he can learn the advanced things very beautifully okay so they not ask a okay. very big problem so okay. we we'll just try to test your fundamentals right okay mm, so okay so we'll prepare on these line right yes sir and uh, in the mail they also mentioned that uh, you should be good in control system and mathematics so from mathematics point of view i in think in mathematics they will ask more about differential equation right mm. matrices okay and uh, they can try and test you on some state space questions where you find those eigen values right yes. and these are the closed loop holes they can ask on these okay sir. what i believe they will not go into much inside but they can ask on this okay but okay, apart sir. from this uh, you know one thing have you studied the subject signal and system yes sir see in signal and system uh, have a uh, you know some focus on the lti system Okay. because lti system are the mostly system which we deal during the graduation level okay, okay. so be aware of those system what are the properties of those system like i ask you the impulse response is absolutely integrable okay, okay. see okay. obviously you might be knowing the condition that pole should lie on the left half of the s plane that is in reference to the transfer function but i ask you the condition in reference to the impulse response so you know when we are doing the time domain analysis we are more interested in impulse response when we are doing yes. the frequency domain analysis we are more interested in two transfer function so yes. apart from this whatever they have mentioned just have a brief idea about lti system which you have studied in the signal system right okay
Oh, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you.